Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to an episode of Bull Drek. My name, as always, is Bull, and today we're going to do a review of a new Netflix original series called Stranger Things. Um, this video is made possible by the wonderful support of my Patreon backers. If you're interested in checking out and possibly supporting me, uh, go to patreon.com slash bulldrek or click in the link that will be in the description below this video. Uh, so anyways, uh, Stranger Things is a brand new Netflix original series, and I went into it not really knowing much about it. Uh, I had seen the, seen, uh, the title listed not too long ago on, uh, on a couple websites and stuff. Uh, and I knew that it was a mystery show of some sort um, set in the 1980s. Other than that, didn't really know a whole lot about it. It sounded kind of intriguing, but I then kind of forgot about it. Uh, however, a buddy of mine on Facebook posted after he watched the first episode, posted saying that it was really, really good. Uh, so the other night I was uh, trying to fall asleep, couldn't. Uh, because I occasionally have bouts of insomnia, so I decided I'll watch an episode or two and then try to get some sleep. Because uh, as all, with all Netflix original series, they posted the entire series all at once. And this is an eight-episode series, uh, eight ep eight-hour-long episodes. So I went ahead and gave it a watch, and well, watching one or two episodes turned into watching four episodes, and then I ended up finishing it up yesterday, on Saturday. Um, and I gotta say, the show was fantastic. I mean, I was, I was actually really blown away. Uh, the basic plot of the show follows a handful of different characters. Uh, and I'm going to try really hard to avoid spoilers because the show's only been out for a couple of days. So I know a lot of people probably haven't had a chance to watch it or, and or finish it. So I will, I'll be careful with the spoilers. Uh, but the basic premise is, is that there's group of, these group of kids, uh, middle schooler kids, probably around 12 years old or so. Um, and they're, they're all nerds. Uh, in fact, when we first see them, they're playing Dungeons and Dragons, old school, classic Dungeons and Dragons. Um, but when they leave to go home for the night, uh, one of the kids goes missing. And this is in the premise blurb, so I'm not spoiling anything there. The rest of the series then follows up as the parents and the police and the kids all kind of take turns looking for them. And there's, there's other plot lines going on as well. And um, things are, are not as straightforward as they seem because there is something strange afoot in the town. Um, so like I said, I'm going to avoid spoilers, but the show is, is actually really, really well done. Um, first off, it's a period piece. Uh, it's set in 1983. And unlike a lot of shows that are period pieces, this doesn't feel forced. Um, a lot of shows, you know, that are set in the 80s or 70s or 60s or whenever they're set, uh, when they're not set in modern times, a lot of shows tend to feel very much, you watch them and you feel like you're watching a bunch of people dressed up as in the 80s clothes and on a set that's designed to look like the 80s or whatever. Um, it feels slightly forced, slightly artificial. Um, even, even bigger name movies and stuff have this problem. Um... I'm not entirely sure why, but it always there's always a little bit of an artificiality to it. Um, and I didn't get that from Stranger Things at all. To be completely honest, if it wasn't for the fact that the special the what special effects there are in the show, and there's not a lot, but there are definitely a few here and there. If it wasn't for the fact that the special effects look very, very top-notch, um, if the special effects had been a little cheesier, and maybe even give us a little bit of grain or some of those VCR lines. I would have thought we were watch. I was watching something made in the '80s. It felt like it was from that period rather than something that was made now about the period. So that right there was a big thing. The other thing is there's some very specific DNA you can see just baked into the series, and the series even recognizes it and calls it out. Um, there's a, there's some, some, some strong Stephen King influences. Um, it, Carrie, and Firestarter would be the three I would name as that. Um, there's a very, very strong it feeling to it because you've got this group of ki this group of younger kids, 12 year olds or so, and it's a lot like the Losers Club from, from the, from the novel It. Um, you know, a group of outcasts kind of, you know, trying to, trying to make it. Um, and then, of course, facing off against something something dark and sinister. Uh, but there's also some traces of Firestarter. 
Um, some strong case straight traces of Firestarter, and I won't go too much into that. That's kind of a spoiler in and of itself. Um, and like I said, a little bit of carry. But uh, you can also see a little bit, like I said, there's some horror elements to it. Um, this is very much a, as somebody, as another friend of mine put it, it's a kids on bikes having an adventure mo- movie slash series mixed with um, uh, mixed with a horror movie. Uh, and the horror stuff isn't real heavy, isn't really strong. I mean, this isn't going to be a gore fest. There's a few creepy moments and a few jump scares here and there, but it's not, it's not a terrifying movie. It's not a horror in any real sense. Uh, but it's very suspenseful, and it, it does have elements of horror in it. So another one of the elements you see in the movie is um, a little bit of John Carpenter's thing. Um, and then there's also a little bit of uh, Sam Raimi's Evil Dead. And then, of course, you've also got a very strong vibe of those 80s kids on bikes having an adventure movies, um, E.T., Goonies, stuff like that. And all of those elements are mixed in there, but and they're blended really, really well. Um, like I said, it, it comes off perfectly. It never feels at any point like the show is just copying or aping these, these concepts. But instead, it feels like they're just a naturally, uh, they, they naturally use them. It, it, it's really hard to describe, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed and blown away by the writing for the show. Like I said, they do so well with mixing all these elements, these genres of familiar tropes and familiar series, but making it something that's still original and just still really interesting, really fascinating. Um... So, yeah, I, like I said, the, the show was fantastic. It's got a few really uh, interesting characters. Um, Winona Ryder is the mother of the missing kid, and she does an amazing job. Her, her character, Joyce Byler, Byers, ends up, and when, when her, she, she's got a lot of issues anyways, and when her kid goes missing, she kind of starts, she thinks she's going a little bit crazy, and everybody else thinks she's going completely off her rocker, and she does a fantastic job of just selling it. Um, and, and just overall, like I said, top to bottom, the show was just really well done. The, the kids were very, very believable as kids. I mean, they don't, they don't talk or act like adults like you do with some movies with kids where they're written kind of more mature than their age. They act very much their age, but at the same time, you never, it never feels forced or fake because you also get that a lot when you're writing for kids. Um, I've seen some comparisons to Freaks and Geeks. Uh, and this this feels very kind of kind of in the same vein. The writing's not quite as that that snappy patter that freaks freaks and geeks tend to have tended to have, but um, overall it, it just like I said the kids kids felt very natural. Their group dynamic felt very natural. Um, and I'll say this: I kind of wanted to play their D and D game. Uh, it looked like a lot of fun, and uh, for being you know twelve or thirteen years old or however the, uh, however old the Mike, the main care, the main, the main young kid, uh, despite his age, he looked like he was a fantastic game master. Um, definitely better than I was at that age, and possibly better than I am now. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no, like I said, the show was was really fantastic. the The costuming, the set designs, everything felt natural. And as as somebody that grew up in that era. Uh, I was a, I was a little younger than these kids were, but this was very much me. I was uh, kind of the dorky little kid, and I, I mean, I played sports and stuff, so I was a weird example of a kid that age, because you know I was really into D and D, really into comic books, but also played three, you know, played football and baseball, and was real active and stuff like that. So I was kind of all over the place. But um, yeah, I just. Uh, I, you know, like I said, I, I highly recommend it. Um, check it out. It is on Netflix. It's eight episodes, hour long. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, this was just, it blew me away with how good it was. I, I went into it not really expecting a whole lot. I figured, eh, you know, maybe it'll be something kind of interesting. It'll catch my attention and I'll watch it over the next, you know, few days or week or whatever. And like I said, I ended up basically watching four episodes, and I would have continued to watch more, except I was, I was literally falling asleep as the episode, as the fourth episode ended. Um, I couldn't keep my eyes open any longer, so I, I had to stop it. Um, 
And even then, I stayed up way later than I meant to. Uh, so definitely go watch it. Uh, it. It's fantastic. It's great. So, all right. Anyways, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos along these lines. And um, if you're interesting and su interested in supporting me as I do these videos and do other things, uh, I do creative writing, all kinds of stuff. Again, like I said earlier, uh, check the uh, Patreon link in the description below. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and you have a good one.